Oh my gosh. Um, he just walked over here and said he has bad news. Hello friends, good morning. Today is a very exciting day. Um, it's Friday. We are getting some new equipment at the gym. So it's about 7 a.m. and I'm gathering up everything that I need to take to the gym. I'm also very tired. I still have not caught up on sleep since getting back home from the trip. But I'm gonna grab food, I have to grab the dog, I have to grab training clothes because I'm gonna train after the equipment gets dropped off, and then we're gonna head to the gym and I have five minutes to leave. So we'll talk in the car. Wanna go to the gym? Let's do it. Go away. So as far as equipment goes, I placed a huge order back in May, I think it was, and equipment usually takes a good bit to come, so it was originally supposed to be delivered while I was out of town and I rescheduled it twice, so we are finally getting it today. We're getting it in two parts. The first part, we're getting a multi-press, a pec deck, a bicep tricep machine, a utility bench, and a back extension bench. So I don't think it's gonna be a ton to like have to set up. We do have to move some things around with some current equipment and make room for the pieces, but I'm just really excited to be adding to the gym. So that's what we'll be handling this morning and then I have a push day, so we'll head right into that. We'll talk a little bit more throughout the day as the day goes on, um, but honestly, I'm just super excited to be home and getting back into routine and all the things. So now I'm two minutes late, let's go to the gym. Party. Hi, Blenny. This is the most human looking dog you'll ever see. Can't really see him because he's jumping so much. <laughs> Can we say hello? Oh, We've made it in the gym. Um, I'm probably gonna throw my stuff down, grab an energy drink so that no caffeine, and then start planning where we're gonna put things. I had a plan, but I've since forgot the plan, so I need to reconfigure. I'm also realizing that I haven't really shown you guys the gym yet, so I'll probably make a full YouTube video with like a gym tour, but this is a brief little view of it. So we basically have this one main room, and then in the back we have a stretching room and bathrooms, so you can kind of see this room right here is a stretching room, and then those are our bathrooms in my office. So as far as equipment goes, this is what we'll probably be switching out. Pec deck is easy. Pec deck was the most requested equipment that we got when we put out our survey after buying the gym. We're gonna go right here. Um, pec deck and reverse fly. Also, all the equipment we're getting today is from Thermos Rank and Light Fitness, so it should be super quality. And I'm really excited about that. That goes there. The bicep tricep machine will go here. So, this preacher curl bench, something that came to the gym when I bought it. Up. It's pretty destroyed. Um, not the quality that I want in the facility. So we got an actual bicep tricep machine. Um, because we don't have a ton of space in the gym, it's 4,300 square feet. I have a lot of machines that do dual things, like a multi press is coming today that does regular bench, incline bench, and shoulder press, and then bicep tricep. Um, we have an assisted tip pull up machine coming. So just basically trying to do as much as we can with like limited space, if that makes sense. So that will go here. Um, multi press. I'm kind of conflicted because we have an incline chest press and I was originally going to get rid of it. <laughs> um, I was originally going to get rid of this because we were getting a multi-press and again I bought the multi-press to go here to be a more versatile piece of equipment. But I've talked to a lot of guys and they're like, we really, really like this machine. So I think we're going to keep it. I don't even know if we should miss it. Because I'm thinking we can do the multi-press right there. In this way. Multi-press here. Mm. Do you think we 
out right here? We'd have to try it. I think you should try it. Ball tight guys. You can do it like the best ball And then bicep, tricep, and then we can do the back of the right here. Mm -hmm. And then utility bench, and then three benches. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, the truck has arrived. Working on the pieces, uh, like the pack deck can go there, and yeah. then the multi press can go here just because we know that there's more walls. And then I'm gonna see like, yeah, sorry, yeah, I'm, no, that's I'm okay, gonna, it's good, it's super, I'm super excited. I'm just like, shit, I didn't plan to have space for things, but also, I work fast, so I might be able to figure it out. All right, all right, thank you, bro. I'm super excited. So basically, I ordered a ton of equipment, and as I was saying, the first part of the delivery was coming today, and now it's all coming today, which is great and super exciting because I want my equipment, but we don't really have room for it because there are a couple things that needed to be adjusted in order to make room for everything. So we ordered an eight station cable tower because we need it very badly. We only have these cables. So we have this functional trainer, and then this one, so it's one cable row, one lap pull down, and two cables. The new one will be an eight station, so we'll have two cable rows, two lap pull downs, and then four cables. So basically, we just did not get rid of these yet, and this is where the eight station needs to go, and there's no room. The other thing, I don't know if you guys can see them, these lockers in this room are gonna be moved to where these cubbies are, and then these pieces of equipment are gonna go on that wall in the dungeon so that we have this area open. So I'm going to try to figure out if there's a way to get all of this received today or if we're gonna have to reschedule part of it. I just wish I was more prepared. Oh my gosh. Why? I'm gonna let my jeans here on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Necessary. Um, okay, so Katie and I just walked around and we think we can fit all of the equipment. So the full list of equipment that's coming through both orders is what I listed earlier. So pec tech, multi-press, bicep tricep, back extension, and utility bench. And then we also got an eight station cable tower, an isolateral high row, and an assisted dip and chin up machine. So we think we just found a spot for everything to fit, except for the A-Station cable tower, just because we still have those two current cables here. So we're gonna ask the delivery drivers if they have any ideas. Most likely, we're gonna reschedule the delivery for next week or the week after, just to give us time to sell this equipment and get rid of it and make some room. But yeah, that's the decision. It's gonna get a little chaotic in here. Hopefully everything fits well. I'm putting some things in some smaller areas, and yeah, I just hope it's not too crowded. I'm excited. This is why I'm excited to build a bigger gym from scratch just so I can plan out where I want everything strategically and the equipment I want and stuff like that. So anyways, that's the plan. Let's get some new equipment in here. I'm feeling quite under fueled and under caffeinated to be dealing with these circumstances right now. I just have to say. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Heck yeah, I super appreciate that. That would be awesome. All right, we'll be in touch. See ya. Um, okay, so he literally just found out that we called. He's like, hey, so I think you just called. Yeah. Um, they don't do it, but he has a friend that does auctions. Okay. And basically, we just take pictures of the equipment, send it to his friend, and his friend posted on his website. He does like a two-day auction, and he was saying that he's seen success where they'll go to like use brokers to get like a quote to sell something, and it'd be like nine grand, and then it would sell for like 13 or 14 on the website for the auction. Okay. So it actually does better. Um, so he's gonna send me that email and we can send it. So I think we can get rid of those pretty quickly and we don't have to touch anything. We just have to take pictures, send it to them, and then they'll auction it. Can that be all the equipment we're trying to get rid of? And not just cables? I think we're all, I think that's all we need to get rid of now. The preacher. Do we want I don't think that's worth selling. It's pretty trash. That's awesome. The other, I guess we could get rid of the T-bar yeah. row. Um, but yeah, so we will just set that up. Things are happening. Oh my god. I'm just a human. First piece is coming in. The assisted dip chin up. It's gonna go in that corner. All right, first machine is set up.
It's a lateral high road. I'm so scatterbrained right now. I have already forgot where I said I was gonna put things. Um, we just got the isolateral high row I was showing you. Um, I think it's gonna go in this empty space. Basically, when I'm placing equipment, there's a couple things that I think about. Um, obviously, space around it. Like, I don't want people to be, like, fighting to get into a machine, get their place and stuff like that. So, easily accessible. Um, I also want to have good filming lighting. So, for this one specifically, I think I'm gonna face it backwards to the window so you can film from the window looking in and that's gonna be better lighting as opposed to shooting the other way and getting washed out and then the other thing i was talking about earlier if there's specific machines where it's a movement where it can make somebody uncomfortable i also try to place those in good areas um to try to minimize that and yeah i think that's basically what i consider i also try to lump like leg equipment together with upper body equipment or up goodness gracious Leg equipment together, upper body equipment together, racks, stuff like that, and just have it make sense. The annoying thing is there's a calisthenics area in the gym, which I really need to get rid of. This and this, I kind of just want to get rid of. Um, but I think this high row is going to go in this area. And then we'll have it face that direction, so when you're filming, you can film from the window. Moving on. To the boxes. The gym has turned to total chaos um, and of course it's starting to get really busy so people are walking in and they're like oh my god. Um, it seems like people are super excited and know that it's temporary chaos so they're just unboxing everything right now and then once they start setting it up I'll show you guys that. But things are happening. While they're working on unboxing and setting up those pieces I am going to work on a bathroom display. I ordered a bunch of things to we have two bathrooms here, and I ordered a bunch of things to set up a little display with like community products like lotion, hair ties, tampons, deodorant, spray deodorant, um, and just stuff like that. I just feel like it's nice when I visit gyms and they have things in the bathroom to be able to use if you forget something. I just think it's a really nice amenity, so we're going to set that up. Got a bunch of stuff from Amazon, so it's like two shelves and then a bunch of, I also got bobby pins stuff like that. So let's set it up and make a nice little area in case a member forgets something they need. These are the shelves. Got my handy dandy. Amazon instructions are always the best. Hi buddy. Oh you want to be in my lap? <laughs> I'm both very jealous. He's on the other side of the gate. All right, we did it. Pretty solid. Yeah. Oh my, I'm oh, just kidding, it's upside down. I was about to say, I think I did it all backwards. All right, let's bring her in the bathroom and set her up. Okay, let's get this all set up and leveled and then we will fill it up. Yay. So these are our bathrooms, we have two of them. We don't have showers, they're just like regular bathrooms. Um, but this looks super nice. All right, let's grab everything we need and fill it up. I'm also just now realizing that I forgot to get acrylic containers. I was gonna put the tampons in acrylic containers along with the ponytails and the body things. So I still need to order those, but we have the rest of the stuff. So, got some lotion. I think I'm gonna wait to put the body tags and the body tails out until I have the containers. I'll probably do it tomorrow. But I did find another spray deodorant. So I think this is good for now. People need to use it. Also, now's a good time to ask because I was thinking about what products I should have in here and I like literally could not come up with anything else. So if you have any suggestions or things that you would like for a community space in your bathroom or gym, in New York gym's bathroom, like just products or things that would be helpful. Put them in the comments so I can grab them and uh, make it even better. But I'm going to build the other shelf and then do the same thing in the next bathroom. I really wish that I would have eaten breakfast before leaving the house because I am so hungry and I'm declining 
rapidly. Let's go and see where they're at with the equipment. Looks like they're making some progress. We have hit the wall. We have hit the lack of food threshold. I'm so fucking hungry. I have like massive brain, th brain no, fog and I can't um, think. I so I'm pulling the trigger and ordering Chick-fil-A, even though they don't have breakfast. Um, I'm gonna get the cool chicken wrap meal. I'll show you guys when it comes, but food is very necessary to finish this endeavor. Things are all here. I'm sure you know where everything is. Hey. The goods have been secured. Diet frosted lemonade, you guys already know. This here chicken wrap is actually really good. I'm a very picky eater. I feel like I've talked about this a good bit, but um, this is fire. And the macros are also really good. I do not like Chick-fil-A's ranch. I think it tastes like ass, but the avocado lime ranch tastes really good. So there's lunch and I'm gonna be feeling like an actual human again in 20 minutes. <laughs> I just looked up and Katie's dancing. We're in much better spirits. We needed this in a bad way. Um, he just walked over here and said he has bad news. They're missing the plate holder that holds the cable into the machine. Okay. So they can't do anything with the equipment until we get that piece shipped from Life Fitness. And they're suggesting that we get it installed on the same day as the cable tower. Um, Which is that the one he's working with? Correct. Okay. Fucker, so bicep, tricep, he's not going in today. I don't know why a part of me thought that something would go wrong in this way. But, um, yeah, so basically we are not gonna install the bicep tricep machine today because it's missing a piece. So they're gonna take it back to the warehouse and then we're gonna order that piece. And they're gonna come back out and get it installed. It does look like some pieces are about done. So let's go check it out. So this is the pec deck. And then this is the bicep tricep machine that we can't install. Um, uh, okay. And then we've got the utility bench, and then the back extension bench. Okay, change of plans. We're putting the equipment in a different box because the pet deck is longer than we thought it was. So we're gonna do the high row right here because it has plate pegs on the other side. Very brain dead. So we're gonna get rid of this plate tree. And then we're gonna do the multi press, and then bicep tricep once it's fixed, and then the back extension, the utility bench, the other benches that we already own, and then the pec tech will Hopefully it works. <laughs> Inception. I like it. Yeah. Looks super good. This looks so good. So good. We're getting closer to figuring things out. I feel like I keep popping off camera to like discuss things when I come back with like I have no idea what that's about. So hopefully this vlog is cohesive and makes sense. Um, my day doesn't, so. Anyways, we're trying to figure out, I think we're going to get rid of one of the plate trees because we had two right here. And this holds plates. So we move one over there, and then now we're going to load up these plates, move the plates from this plate tree to that plate tree, and then put the two pieces of equipment right there. So strong. Oh, nice deltoid. Sheesh. The first machine is the plate. Okay, it's been a very, very long day. I ended up setting the camera down for a little bit just as the rest was getting finished, but the installers just left and everything is set up. So let's go look at the new additions. But she's pretty, she's real pretty. We only have like fully adjustable benches, so we had no place to do it. How is it gonna work out? I'm definitely gonna <laughs> Alright, and then right next to it, a very nice back extension. 
is also needed. I feel like the GHD is a little bit um, intimidating for some people. It just doesn't feel as good. Um, so this will get a lot of use. And it's the same clear coat on the unfinished metal. And then we moved the incline press from over there. We already had this. And then we added this. And we're trying the isolateral high row. So set it up face this way so if you're filming you can film from behind me like yo okay and then we got a couple of slug drive machines so loud. the bicep tricep they had to take back we're already talking about that in the video so it's not here just because they couldn't store it here unless it was fully done multi-press so this does and full shoulder press and then this is the ghost from here so I like it multi-function um pec tag self-explanatory pec tag reverse fly and then final and i'm really excited about this one because i think it's a piece that takes this gym from kind of like an intermediate gym to a little bit more beginner now that we have some selectorized like upper body machines but i feel like when you walk into a gym sometimes it's intimidating to have to pick up a dumbbell or a barbell or do like a straight pull up with a band so also i will be using the assisted fit portion so this just slides up I just found out some more bad news. The aid station cable tower that I ordered, I thought was coming with four adjustable cables, but it's coming with two adjustable cables and two tricep pushdowns. So essentially, we're moving from four adjustable cables to two adjustable cables. So we're going backwards in the cable growth department, and that's not a vibe. So I have to pay a 20% restocking fee to swap out the tricep for adjustable cables, and it's gonna take like six weeks for them to get here. But basically, we're gonna move forward with the cable install on Tuesday of next week, once we get rid of those cables, and then place an order for the correct adjustment cables. And then when those come in, I pay the 20% restocking fee, and they come in and swap them out. So, that's where we're at. Um, I feel like I, I started this vlog, and it was gonna be like a day in the life. Come with me to install gym equipment, and hit a workout, and make dinner, and all that shit. It is 4.30. We got here at 8 o'clock, so this has taken pretty much the entire day. I thought it was going to take a few hours, but I'm going to end the video here, um, and I'm going to go get in a good workout. Brian and I have a date night planned tonight. We're going to make some steak and watch a movie, and I'm going to teach him a card game. So it's going to be a good night, and I kind of just want to chill. I feel like super stressed out and like on edge. I just feel so chaotic. As far as next week and what's to come, um, oh, I actually have a super exciting weekend next week. I'm going on a brand trip with something super exciting, so I'll be taking you guys along with me for that. I've thought about what day it is like 20 times today. I literally just did it right now, and it's Friday, so not getting back into the routine to start the week. We're actually going into the weekend. Um, I'll probably approach it from like pretty, just like focusing on relaxing and getting my shit together so that come Monday I can like really, really, really be ready to tackle the week because I just feel so off getting back. Um, and I'm going to keep rambling for 20 minutes, so... Anyways, thank you for watching the video. If you guys like these and don't want to miss them, I post them every Thursday, so subscribe to the channel so you don't miss them. And uh, we'll see you next week.